Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's another great week and I am kind of nervous but very excited about the topic for today, spiritual baths. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I thought that I'd share a little bit of my knowledge about spiritual baths and I wanted to really delve into the science behind this because I know when it comes to matters of spirituality and whatnot, um, people tend to figure out like, okay, so what makes this different from the rituals that you do in any organized religion? To be honest, I feel like when you are very ritualistic in nature, you are following some sort of a dogma, you are following certain rules and creating certain outcomes, right? So, and expecting certain outcomes. And if you keep doing these rituals and whatnot, it is indeed a form of religion. I would say this, we are following the laws of nature, right? Especially as dictated in the Kabbalah. And you will notice that a lot of new age spiritualists do follow the Kabbalah, do follow the laws of nature, and in essence are alchemists. So, that's what I adhere to. So I am literally learning every single day about the laws of nature, about wellness, about, you know, spirituality and whatnot. So I'm exploring different things. I'm exploring West African religions, specifically Igbo religions, because that's where, that's my motherland. Uh, my mother is Igbo. And so, and I've been very, very tied to that part of my culture, so to speak. I have received callings from that part of my culture, right? So, um, I delve a lot into that, right? And I wanted to share certain elements with you. So today we are going to be focusing on, I'm babbling a lot, but forget it, whatever. Today we're going to be focusing on spiritual baths. Hmm. people talk about spiritual baths and I do honestly feel that there is a science to this as there is to most elements in spiritual practices right and ritualistic practices there's a science to it right it's some sort of an alchemy and in this case when it comes to spiritual baths I'm going to tell you the main ingredient let nobody fool you the absolute main ingredient are some things that you can find in your kitchen right some things that you can find in nature right so in essence i personally believe that everything is up here the universe is mental as i said in the Kabbalion. the universe is mental everything is truly and honestly mental so if you have no elements you kind of have to rely on charging yourself by yourself right but when you have physical elements around you these are gifts that you can work with things that you can work with and put in your mind over this matter to amplify and move energies okay so the most important ingredient in a spiritual bath is salt 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 the most important ingredient in a spiritual bath is salt salt preferably okay so if you have pure unadulterated sea salt you're pretty much going to start and charge you know that salt with your intentions or charge it with your intentions and you say your prayers you know and putting your intentions i like to do it three times because i feel it penetrates strongly that way and you see things work for you because why? Because we are creators, right? We are creators and we work with a higher energy, a higher power, right? To make sure that things go a certain way, the way we want it to go, okay? So you have to put in the work in everything you have to put in the work, right? Even within the spiritual context. You're not just going to lie down on your bed and say, ah, oh, I wish this would happen. 
it could work out but you really have to train yourself with your intentions so without further ado <laughs> i don't want this to be a super long video we babbling and whatnot but i really wanted to explain to you the most important thing the most important ingredient about a spiritual bath is that you have unadulterated sea salt but in the spiritual bath that i've been having today is a lot more fancy right we're going to be having elements of earth elements of wind elements of fire and stones and whatnot so i want it to be a super 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 charged um spiritual bath i want these energies to be i want to feel very cleansing and out because i just feel like be it at work in my love life um in my personal life my family life my mental space <sighs> there's so much i'm going to divorce you guys i'm trying to be a little more open um so little by little but for now this is it right so in my mental space i try to balance my energy so i can literally just thrive in this world right so i'm just going to come along with me as i show you the elements that i'm using and uh, show you the outcome of the bath how supercharged it is and i will tell you that with everything you do charge charge your attention that is the purpose of spiritual bath or else you're taking your energy inside salt water and relaxing okay i'm going to make that sound very salt is healing right himalayan salt water also is very very healing sea salt all that is very healing because of the negative ions that emanate from them right it releases uh, negative ions right and what these ions do and what these elements do is that um, if you've ever done um uh osmosis experiments as a child you know that when you put salt for example on a potato it releases and sucks up all the water from inside so it when you for example have mucus and you need to heal your respiratory system you go through halotherapy right which is dry salt therapy where you don't use just a tiny bit of salt but you go into a salt cave or a room full of salt right heavy amounts of salt so that that those negative ions are released and highly highly charged and what happens it pulls out you know the, any bacteria especially from your mucal glands and cleanses that out and takes off the mucus and all that stuff right same thing when people have a cold people tell you listen for your tonsils gargle salt water right for your nose you, know, you can like inhale a little bit of salt water and drain it so that it can drain out the mucus all these things work there's a science to it it's all alchemy at the end of the day right sometimes it's not proven science yet but it is all a science, right? It's all chemistry, okay? So as you can see, I have all my elements here. Well, most of my elements. Um, most importantly, salt, like I reiterated. So this is a salt Himalayan lamp, right? And so when I do my rituals, you can scrape a little bit just to get it a little more charged. Right? I don't want to do it too much, but I just like to just scrape a little bit, just a little, and a little bit scraped, right? Okay. And then here I have my pink Himalayan salt, which I got separately. And then my white, pure white sea salt. And then here I have and my bath salt, which is made from sea salt, pure sea salt. Okay. So it relieves stress, suits aches and pains and whatnot, but it is made from sea salt. All right. And um, I got this at TJ Maxx. And here I just have my Berry Nautical Scrub. If you know me, you've been following me, you know that I've been working on a skincare line. We'll talk about much late, talk about that much later. But this is a sugar scrub that I'll be using. It's a minted sugar scrub. And as you can see, I'm trying to cleanse my energies. So I do have mint, I do have sage, I do have rosemary and all these things that we're gonna go over, okay? So as you can see, this is peppermint, my peppermint plant. You can get peppermint at a farmer's market. You can get it at your grocery store. I've got mine at Whole Foods, okay? So here is my peppermint 
plant, my rosemary plant, okay? So I'm also going to go through this with you guys. So first things first, here is rosemary, right? So I'm going to put my elements into a bowl. So this rosemary, mm, it smells incredibly good and it's incredibly powerful. The goal with rosemary is to cleanse yourself from any draining energies, any emotionally draining and toxic energies that just pull from your spirit and give you nothing. What some people would like to call, you know, that vampire blood sucking energy, but in this case, it's energy sucking energy. And I put it over here. Here is my peppermint. Mint is extremely soothing. So I will definitely be cutting up some peppermint. It smells very good and very strong. Put it right there. And here I have my Florida water. Florida water is really powerful and good for cleansing. Um, if you don't have Florida water, you can get some holy water. You can get all this at a local botanica. And a botanica is um, usually like a Hispanic, Spanish spot where they have all these elements for prayers. So you can get your Florida water over there. Or holy water over there or you can go to a church or you can go anywhere you can go online you can go on Amazon and get you some Florida water or you can get some holy water if you don't if you don't live in a big city or if you don't live in a very diverse city where you can get these things okay so here are my crystals and my stones okay so I just charged them in the full moon last night I cleansed them I put them outside and I charged them with my intentions and I put them in on a full moon so that they charge and they're fortified and so um, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to set them around here and I'm going to set my intentions and have all these elements of earth work for me I have amethyst I have my clay stones I have my rose Course, so I'm just gonna put them right here and have them work for me. And here I also have a salt-based rose water froth bomb. Okay, so I will insert this as well in the water with all my salts and all these elements. All right, and I am going to watch them work for me. So catch you on the flip side. Okay, guys. So I have put the water in. I have put my flowers in, a bunch of rose petals, and some sunflowers, and it smells incredible. Okay, it smells incredible. It's incredible. So I'm just gonna add my Florida water. I'm gonna add the salt and all the other ingredients. And last of all, we are going to light the sage. Now, the importance of the candles. The candles are really good, especially the white candles. Right? They're very good to where they channel the right energies into the room. You can see I'm using two white candles and I'm mixing it up with some sage candles. Yeah, so those candles are a little bit green. They're very light green. So I'm mixing it up with some sage infused candles. And the last thing I'm going to do is burn some sage. But first of all, let's put in the bath bombs and let's put in the elements that we're working with, okay? So I like to put everything, do everything like three times, right? Three is my magic number. So with my Florida water, I am going to drop it in one, two, three times and charge it with my good intentions, right? One, two, And I'm going to put in my salt. And I'm also going to charge my good intentions and I put it three times. I'm going to do the same with the white sea salt. I'm going to do a little prayer 
charge your energy so I'm putting it three times. I didn't finish this up, so I probably just have to do a fourth one. And my intentions out there. And then I'm going to put in the rose water um, bath bomb. Okay? It has everything. It has salt elements. It has petals and flowers. It has everything he needs. I'm just going in there. Okay? So we've put the bomb in there and it is dissolving. <laughs> Let it do its work. Let it do its work. Let it do its work. And then I'm going to add another mint bath bomb, but I'm going to put it this way and have it um, spread out everywhere as well. Like I said, I need this bath to be potent, potent, potent. No joke. So we are going to burn our sage. As you know, we have sage candles and why sage is so good and so important. Sage is really good for protecting against negative energies, protecting all those good energies, and it is also really, really good for cleansing. Now, I cannot explain what the science is to this, but when I have anxiety and I can't sleep at night, I promise you, this is my saving grace. Ever since I found sage, the moment I put it, I light it up and I spread it around my room and I spread the smoke around my room, I sleep like a baby. It relaxes my nerve immediately. I cannot explain it, but um, yeah, next to the herbs, this is pretty powerful, okay? So we're going to cleanse ourselves, a powerful, powerful cleanse right here, right? And then we have it. So I usually do the same thing, put my intentions of clarity and cleansing, right? I put my intentions into cleanse and what happens? When I do that, I turn around three times, so I'm saying my prayers quietly. We ask spirit to cleanse all negative energy, spirit to protect you and guide you, spirit to take off any sort of vampire energies, you know them, call me by name, mercy spirit, guide and protect me and make sure that my thoughts are positive i'm going to try to make sure that my thoughts are positive spirit help cleanse me cleanse this environment cleanse every fiber of my being purify me you put those intentions out there spirit listens spirit listens These are the kind of things you want to put out there. Of course, they can do different. Everyone's prayers are different. I'm not going to really put out all my prayers here on camera, but you can say your own prayers, put your intentions out there, ask the universe what you want from the universe, the universe provides. The universe will never tell you no. It's always yes, but it's matter of time always a matter of time put out all those positive prayers out there and the universe will give you your heart's desires okay and if you think you're not getting what you want trust me the universe is providing you with exactly what you need just make sure that at all times you're a high vibration on you show gratitude all right let's look at those bad bombs Pretty, 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 pretty. All right, so we'll wait for that to settle. Then I will put the lights off and I will dip myself in there.
Yeah, yeah, yeah.